So everything you see here in front of me guys is what I used to carry in my car as a mobile maintenance engineer. I'll just give you a quick run through of what I've got. Uh, and what I then need to do is to condense it down so it'll all fit in that little box there for the caravan. So I'm building basically a brand new toolbox for the caravan out of everything that I've got here. So first things first, plasterboard anchors. I won't need any of them, but there are a small set of screws just in there which may come in handy. Okay, so I've got a small box of screws there. They'll come in handy for the caravan, I think. So I'll take them out. Uh, just got a box of assorted HSS bits. A few of them. I'll split some of them down and take a couple of them. Got some electrical connectors. Some O-rings in metric. Grub screws. I doubt I'll need any of them. And a mixed bag or a mixed box of uh, nuts and bolts and washers. Got the battle box. Got my general toolkit, which is what I used every day. Everything in there uh, was in there for a reason, and I used everything from it. Got there my plumbing toolbox. If I was on a specific plumbing job, I'd grab that bag as I know I could get the job done. Here I've just got uh, fixings. So I've got ball valves, isolations, uh, push fits, compression fittings and end feed fittings. And the good old battle box there, which has got the oils, lubricants, adhesives, that sort of stuff. So let's uh, get to it. I've got a feeling this will take me a while. So all I'm going to do is condense everything here to a smaller size so it will fit in that bad boy there. So let's get to it. Okay, so this is what I've got so far guys in my new caravan toolkit what i'll do is i'll just start off on the left here and work my way just to the right over there everything has managed to fit in this 22 inch toolbox so let's take a look at what i think i might possibly need i'll come to this um little blue top section in a at the end and we'll take a look at some of the smaller items so First off, I've got a multi ratcheting stubby. I've got a seven in one. I've got a standard posi drive. I've got a terminal screwdriver. I've got a Phillips driver. A Stanley knife or box knife. I've got red and black electrical tape. And I've got a set of gloves. I've got some PTFE tape and some silicon self amalgamating tape. Fantastic for fixing leaks. I've got a pack of 10 Stanley blades. I've got an easy out kit, which for extracting screws with a rounded head. I've got my four way service key. I've got a long flat screwdriver and I have a set of Torx keys. This little fella here is a 15 mil isolation cap. I have a adjustable tire lever. I've got the vice grips, mold grips, I've got the wire cutters and I've got some um, cable crimpers or a crimping tool. Just there I have my two adapters for my multimeter. I have a 17 and a 19 mil socket there, a double ended socket. I've got a couple of sharpies and a Acer pen. I've got some TV coax connectors there and at the back there I have a small pick set and there's roughly four picks in that set there. Moving on I have my set of Allen keys, have some 
JB Weld, which is like a like an epoxy that uh, like an epoxy steel that you mould it into position, and then after some time it goes off. I have two adjustable spanners there. I have a, a long set of cable ties, a shorter set of cable ties. I have a tin of silicon lubricant WD-40. I have the multi-purpose WD-40. I have a large bottle of Gorilla Wood Glue. I have a bottle of Loctite and some Lock Lube. And that little spray can there, or little spray bottle, is alcohol hand rub. Okay, also have some spare bulbs and fuses for the car and van. I have my metric o-ring set i've bought the complete pack because i'm not too sure what ones i will actually need so i've bought the complete pack inside there as well i've just put a couple of um, miscellaneous uh, nylon washers or fabric washers okay just here i have my small uh, hacksaw moving back over to the middle i've got a ratchet I've got a spare steel blade just there. I have my linesman pliers, long nose pliers, a pair of grips. I have some long handled needle nose pliers. I have a paintbrush and a ruler. Now I've gone for the ruler over a tape measure as probably what I'll be needing to do is just measure any bolts or nuts or screws, that sort of stuff. I won't be measuring uh, walls out to hang up shelving or put pictures up so I think a ruler will just do that I have my boss multi-construction drill bits I have my fluke multimeter there and a uh, quarter inch socket set I have a strip of velcro I have my uh, metric sockets um, 19 mil down to 10 mil and last but no means least, I have just a half rounded file. Okay, now this is everything that I managed to get into the box. There are a few other little bits that I would like to get in there. And there's enough space for one or two bits extra to be added into the box. So if you think I'm missing anything so far, just leave a, a comment in the section below. So I'll just take a minute now just to pack all this into the box and we'll move on to the top section here. Okay, so now for the top half of the box, I have an assortment of uh, HSS drill bits. Uh, the largest one in here is 5.5 mil. So five and a half mil there. I have some LSX Fernox. I have uh, just a small precision super glue and I have two part epoxy okay in the back here I just have um, an 8 and 8 9 and 10 mil spanners I have an assortment of nuts bolts and washers I've just put in two of each size that I had okay I've got there an assortment of um, wire connectors and spade ends that sort of stuff i have some wago connectors and some terminal blocks a larger set and a smaller set there i have here a mixed box of fuses i've got the small blade small blade fuses and the bigger blade fuses i have um the small box of screws i have a disposable lighter and I have an assortment of Jubilee clips from 10mm up to 32mm uh, pipe. So with that, I should be pretty much set to go. There is the deep part of the toolbox fully loaded out. There's not much uh, more I can fit in there. But one thing I did add that I missed out on the last part of the video was head torch. I've just took that away in there. And there is the tow tray. As you can see, there's still a lot of room for expansion there. Okay, so if I just shove them up, I've got I've got all that area there to work with. You know, a few extra bits in there. 
that I may pick up on the way or I might not um I might not need anything else. So that guys is my toolbox for the caravan. Now there are still a few things that I wish to get for the box. Uh, I need to get a torque wrench. I need to get some ratchet straps. Uh, I'd like to get a small 10 volt drill. It saves taking the big 18 volt. Uh, probably a small spool of wire. Uh, and I think that's probably about it. That may be all I need. But if you guys have any ideas or suggestions, just pop them in the section below. It'd be great to hear from you and see what you think and see what uh, what stuff you advise. Or maybe I've missed something off that you think is quite an important tool that I may need to take with me. Um, but they're just a few of the things off the top of my head that I think I may need. Uh, that'll come in handy or in good stead in case I need to make any repairs whilst in the van. Okay, I did just now weigh the toolbox and it weighed it in at 32 pound, which is roughly 14 and a half kilos. So it's not too heavy, it is only a small box. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye bye.